Hey guys, Cool Blonde, right back. I'm Rick. Hmm. I'm Aaron. I'm Colin. And we are back with Gurren Lagan. Yes. We know who's not back. Uh. Kamina. Oh. Yeah, he died. He died. Uh, sad. Right? Like my heart was ripped out. Eric, did you remember he died? I'm so far unhappy with this trade. With what? You didn't try? No. <laughs> I was like, this is the worst time to introduce someone new that I should care about. <laughs> like, Seems like an innocent, an innocent girl. But I don't care. Daughter of the Spiral King. But I'm like Simone. I'm wallowing in my grief. Yep. I wouldn't be able to pilot that either. I hope I Simone gets it together, becomes better than Kamina even ever was, unites them. I imagine he must be the person in the weird futuristic thing that we saw, right? He's got it. Yeah. Well, I don't think it's common. I mean, it could be... It could be. A uh, priest's son guy. But uh, Rosso? Rosso? Ross something? Rosso. R-O-S-U, what I wrote. Yeah. Does the Garen take on, like, characteristics of the people that are in it? Like, if you were piloting, like, Lagan with, like, the right side, like, the sensors be all messed up or anything? Uh, Maybe. Like, I mean, it's, like, it's powered by their by their will, and like I don't think that the Gurren necessarily had that uh, mega drill thing that Kamina created at the very end until he willed it. So, yeah, you know? but like the moon thing and uh, the one of many faces, like, uh, those didn't really change their look no. after they were taken over by the other guys. But they, yeah, but, they, they, but they don't have his spirit. They also didn't get the Lagan put into him. Yeah, true. And they also didn't steal a helmet. So, I don't know. I was just wondering. Because, like, in this one, like, it was like Simone was going to, like, throw up. Like, he was sick and his stomach was, like... And then that's when all this power started going everywhere. Yeah. And, ah, it looked like he started puking uh, originally, you know? So, like, put yeah. that I mean, I don't think that the way that beastmen do it and the way that humans can do it is necessarily the same. Like, maybe because humans pilot them, they can do those crazy things. But maybe the beastmen, it's still, like, powered by... You know, we speculated solar energy at one point because they don't... They're not out at night, you know? Yeah. Where that doesn't seem to be a problem. Or was for us. Like, Logon getting sick and it somehow transferred, transferred it into C mode? I think it's just he's fighting for the wrong reasons. Like, Kamina fought out of loyalty and out of, you know, protecting people that are around him and, and being a good example, whereas Simone is doing it merely for revenge and he's really just wanting to punch the wall, is what he's, what he's doing, you know? Which I don't think is the spirit. Yeah, I don't think the fighting spirit, even though this one is rageful and he wants to fight, it's not the right spirit that one is going to be somebody that you're going to want to be led by, and two, yeah, probably guess. you probably can't be. It just you can't I mean, pilot. It leads to like the idea of like then how do the beastmen work with it? And how do I think they pilot? do it because theirs. Yeah. I don't think is for well, we got to protect people. They're yeah. just like we got to kill humans. You know? Yeah, it's yeah. Like, I, I'm, I think it's powered differently thing? somehow. When humans do it, that's why like. Their their fighting spirit can change things, can make it seem like, you know, like it, it can like literally transform. Sometimes I've never seen the beastmen really do that. But I mean, that's just the feeling I get from it. I don't know how it actually works. Well, the only transformation we get though is when L Garen and Lagan are both combined, right? Like we don't get, like neither one of them really transform otherwise, except yeah. for like the canopy closing up. So it's got to be maybe something with a mixture of that too, of like and the maybe. drill and the legs and stuff. Yeah, like drills show up out of nowhere, and like that helmet thing kind of merges onto. And it gets repaired. Yeah, it's leg fixes and stuff, but it's always when they merge. I feel like, or while they're merged. I mean, it's, the beastmen could be part humans. It's they said here that the spiral king created them. And if. And she the is human, human, then it would make sense that he could be human. Well, they said that he is the god of this world that created this world. It could be out of the shell of the former world. So he was a human that created an army of beastmen and became the only human. And he's well, thus god. That, like, humans are the ones that destroyed the world, so in order to protect it, they need to be destroyed, and he created this superior race in his mind. Maybe. Maybe. Or he's just a conqueror. He that. could also not be human and, like, be using DNA of different animals and humans to create different creatures and stuff. And yeah. Maybe he made a person who was his daughter that was human. Or maybe it's really his daughter. I don't know. Was uh, his throat... Those pupils aren't right. So I don't think she's fully human. That's was true. She has, like, crosses in her pupils. I'm sorry, Rick, what? That's true. Well, was his throne on the planet? 
I think so. I think it was a city. I don't know. It it was like a giant city. It was in Bespin. In the Mm. clouds. He was looking down on it. Was he? I don't know. The floor went to, like, see-through, and he was looking, like, down in the city. I thought it was more of, like, a hologram. Like, he could see whatever he wanted. But I guess that's possible. Mm. I I just assumed it was some kind of city, and then... Well, isn't it to be up in the air? Like, above the earth or something like that? I thought that's what that one big spiral thing that was... Point towards the moon was. was That's in the intro, though, right? Yeah. So I, 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 it could be, but I don't know. But I thought before in the show they said like the uh, the beastmen, the gunmen, and stuff come from the sky, and yeah. you have to go to find something to be able to go back up. So it makes sense that if he's up in the air, he could make it see through, maybe, and see down into like whatever his yeah. city I mean, thing and is. Your, with the end goal of piercing the heavens and getting top the spiral, right? Yeah. And if the spiral is like a floating base, then that's just all inside his floating spirally base place. Yeah. I mean, this thing eventually ends up being a interstellar war, right? Per the first episode? Yeah. Like every <laughs> dot in the sky is an enemy or something like that? It seems more than Spiral King owns, but maybe it isn't. Maybe it's all the Spiral King or maybe there's someone above him. Maybe. It might not be an interstellar war. It might just be, like, above the planet for the most part. And, like... It might be all of the Beastmen versus Simone. And yeah. The, like, they have Di, Gurren flying somehow, and then they're going against the spiral city place. And yeah. And they're just fighting in space. But it's not like other planets fighting. Because I think it was, I don't just, know. it was just that one, like, really long ship that they were on versus, like, all the sky. The sky. Yeah. <laughs> And they just blasted off a huge thing, and like there was all these explosions and stuff. Do you guys blame Simone for what happened to Kamina? Do you think it's his fault? No, I think Kamina doing what he was doing was eventually going to be killed. You yeah. know, but I'm also that, that's reckless. me inserting logic into Gurren Lagan, which I was I was really enjoying, not having to worry about. Yeah. <laughs> and they they had both been extremely reckless for several episodes in a row, and just getting through by the skin of their teeth and their fighting yeah. spirit. Eventually, it wasn't enough. Like, I feel like if, if Simon had been stronger, he might be able to do something. But yeah. maybe he couldn't have grown stronger unless Kamina wasn't in the picture anymore. Yeah. Well, I mean, the two things that could have happened, I feel like, would be if he was right there with him and pairing up, maybe they both died. Could have been a possibility, too. Or maybe he could have helped him to actually be strong enough to not die because they wouldn't have gotten hit or... Whatever. If he yeah. wasn't worrying about protecting him or whatever, then maybe he'd have been all right. So is that a piece? Ultimately, of- it's Yoko's fault for kissing Kamen. No, and as it got Simon all out of whack. Well, that's yeah. why he wasn't fighting right. True, I guess. <laughs> is that a piece of Kamen's cape that he has around his elbow? Yeah. 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 No, I don't think it was anybody's fault. It was just war. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The, Bad luck uh, finally caught up to him. Did the generals in the beginning of the episode remind you guys of Chimera Ants? I mean, there's literally hot Ooh, chick man. with a scorpion tail, turtle-looking guy. The armadillo. Sure. <laughs> hot chick with a scorpion tail like exactly like the other hot chick with a scorpion tail. And, I mean, no more than the other ones. We've already had beastmen that have been all these weird things, so... But, I just mean, like, in a... a like to, for me, like an exact like mirror image look of one design versus another. Uh-huh. Like the Beastmen, we've seen like, well, this one's real furry, or this one has sharp teeth, you know. But like that was like a specific like hot chick cleavage, scorpion tail, you know. Yeah. No, I I definitely see the similarities. Yeah, well, in her I do. I didn't get it from anyone else though, but I didn't. It wasn't until at the one point I was like, the scorpion tail what was that. Yeah. Maybe it is, maybe it's something else, I don't know, but that one seems kind of similar. Uh, definitely, you know, uh, showing everybody's, like, trauma and, and dealing with Kamina's death, yeah. which, you know, Yoko's just, like, you know, it, they're all different forms of grief, but even, like, you know, Katan, uh, you know, trying to replace Kamina or trying to, like, well, I can do this too, you know, I think that can even be a... a seen as a way of grief when losing your rival because they were kind of, you know, yeah. rivals there. You yeah. know, being like, well, I can replace them. I can do this. I can do the things that we've lost, you know? Like Endeavor with All Might. Yeah. Kind of. I really like the, uh, in the, the halfway point, the one splash art thing of, like, 
Simone down, like mm-hmm. with the rain falling on him, and then like in the background next yeah. to him is Gurren Lagan also mm-hmm. like down in the same thing. It was just really cool. Uh, Yoko is insisting they call it Daigurun because that's what Kamina wanted to call it, right? Yeah, yeah. Team yeah. Daigurun. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know about I don't know who Nia is. I get the feeling that she could be some kind of like maybe not in on it, but some kind of plant or. Yeah, so did you guys think that she was discarded, or she was planted, like, or was it trash? she was smuggled out by, like, a human on yeah. the inside? I mean, if it's trash, someone put a lot of care and attention to, like, make her feel, com- feel comfortable in that, you know? Yeah, and then they threw her off a cliff. Yeah, I know. <laughs> there was a whole bunch of those other ones, too. Assuming, like, like, no was, way out. I feel like she was manufactured by the Spiral King... And when she got to a certain point and started asking questions that he didn't want to answer, he just got rid of her and yeah. made a new one. Mm. Like maybe he tried to make it without like self-reflection. Because he, he was talking with the generals of like friendship. I didn't program friendship in you. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, maybe he's just trying to make these at- 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 automons. At- automatons? Automatons. Uh, Automaton. But instead like feelings and loyalty yeah. and stuff like that got mixed in. Hmm, maybe, but Calendra, it did look like there were more of those, like, chests, like, wish sitting around. I opened him. more of them up before that fucking horse beastman came. There's just, like, another Nia in there. Hi, I'm Nia. Hi, I'm Nia. I've never met a human. I'm Nia, I'm Nia. So I was just... Uh, what is what? Uh, I know rain. I guess it'll depend on how uh, the graceful one reacts to her. Yeah. Like, whether or not she listens to her or... Did, did someone, was someone saying, like, how does she know rain but not mud? Yeah. I mean, if she's from the sky. I suppose that's... Like, you can have rain, but you wouldn't have dirt. Yeah. Yeah, but she said, like, oh, this must be rain. As if she hadn't experienced it, but she had heard about it. Maybe she, like, read about it in a book or something. Maybe it's more distinguishable from mud, because there's lots of things on the ground. It also could be, like... oh, is this rocks, or is this mud? I mean, maybe depending on how high they are, maybe they're above the clouds to where, like, they can see the rain falling, but they're not getting hit by the rain. So this is their first time experiencing being in rain. True. But she... It was like... You know, it'd be like if, like, oh, look, down there's the dirt. And then the first time you touch the dirt, this is like, oh, look, down there's the rain. But you can't see the earth. And you get down there, like, oh, man, this is the rain. So, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it makes sense as to why she knew that, because that originates from up high, and that's where she comes from. Or maybe she was getting curious about things on earth, and Spiral King didn't want that. Well, I hope through her we're going to get some answers. Yeah. Yeah, I hope so. It's just that the visual of her arriving and being now part of the show has, like, it literally split the clouds and cleared away the the grief of losing Kamina, you know, in a way. Like, that's when the, the show the became... Color coming. Yeah, it became saturated again and stuff, and it immediately made me hate her. Well, she, she also... Why? Because she, she ain't no replacement. Things aren't better. They are. God should flood this world four days and four nights. She went up and said something, and she stopped fighting right away. It's much faster than what Kamina does. It's um, some kind of... Stuff would have been destroyed. I don't trust it. Uh, she's, uh, she's he nice. always has a conversation with the person that he's about to beat. Yeah, but then I mean, it starts getting destroyed, and they start battling, and then she just says, stop, and she's like, oh, and she's stuck. She also did replace him in the opening, too. Yeah, it's true. It'd be great. It's very true. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Gurren Lagann. You can catch the next one right now over at patreon.com slash blindwave. Full length is there, too. Also, be sure to check out twist.tv slash blindwave. We need to play some mech games sometime. It'll be a lot of fun. Mech will be. It's well. Just playing a game with my heart. Is that in the Enders? <laughs>